Students and parents, here we go. So I've definitely received a number of messages over the weekend and uh, about concerning about this uh, coronavirus. Of course, you know, we want to take all the, you know, safety matters and precautions into hand. Uh, you know, and it, as we've seen the new regulations that have developed over the weekend about crowds of people, uh, we, don't not, we don't follow under those gu guidelines. Uh, the studio will remain open as of right now, but I know some of you feel a certain way. So I definitely d want to consider, you know, uh, your how you feel, and I don't want to make you if you feel like you're going to be in endangered in any way. I don't want to make you feel like you have to come in. So um, I definitely want, worked all weekend trying to figure things out, and as you see, I built this uh, this set. I've done this before, of course, uh, with some videos in, in the past, and uh, it, you know, so I wanted to definitely give you some extra options if you do feel that you know this is a con this is you know a safety matter. Uh, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, the, if, when you're in small numbers with private lessons, there's not as much contact, but I definitely don't want to m put my opinion on, on those that want to remain safe from this and want to stay inside their home. So there are other options though. Um, so I want to definitely give you some extra op options and, um, you know, so I've come up with these uh, simple alternatives. There's three alternatives that I came uh, up with. And one of them is going to be to, of course, just FaceTime, you know, or uh, Google Hangouts is what I'd probably be using. But, you know, there's other uh, video chats that, that we can use nowadays to to do the lesson. So if you feel that, you know, coming out of the house is not uh, what an option, then we can do that alternative right there. Uh, you would just need, you know, a cell phone, full battery, of course, and we would definitely uh, just set it up like this. I got all my lighting and we just kind of, um, <laughs> we just kind of do the lessons like that. Um, so, and it's the most ideal too. It really is of all the options because there are a couple other options I, I, I do, um, I have came up with. Uh, the other option would be, uh, uh, it's, it's Marco Polo and Marco Polo. I already actually do Marco Polo with a couple of the students that are, uh, um, coming in here already and it works great. You know, it's, it's like a, a video walkie talkie. Uh, these two, these two options do not really, uh, give up it, it, they're, they're the best options I think because they don't have to deal with, uh, you know, taking up using so much data or uh, storage from your phone you know, like the storage space that you have, you know, on your phone is, is it, like video will just eat it up. And these kind of, these platforms don't do that. So um, the third and final option I came up with is uh, me sending complete videos to you. Uh, they'll be fully produced uh, in, uh, videos in a way, and then they'll have like, you know, different angles. But the only thing is, is that there's not the interaction between me and the, and, and the student. So I would uh, definitely require you or the student to send me a video back so you would like look at the video and then you would just um, practice and practice and practice and then at that moment you would send a video back um, you would take up storage space that's the downfall of that you would take up a little bit of storage space on, on storage space on your phone or on your laptop or whatnot and um, and then like I say video does suck up a lot of uh, a lot of storage space um, so definitely, I definitely, you know, don't want to see any, um, I want to make sure that students are progressing and not regressing. Okay. And, and I know some of you, literally some of you spent thousands on lessons, you know, in the past year, two years, three years, some of you, four, I have some students with six years. So I definitely don't want to, uh, you know, have the student regressing in any, in any form. And then not only that though, there's going to be probably be extra time that a student can practice at home because the schools are shutting down. And so this is, I, I, I always try to look at, you know, when I always try to look at the good and I, I always want to create uh, solutions and not problems. So I look at this and it's like, this is not good that kids are not going to school. But at the same time, I look at it, it's like, well, there's more practice time. There's more practice time on your instrument. Of course, you know, I know a lot of you are going to be doing school from home probably and, you know, making sure that your students are doing all that. But this can go right alongside with all their, their daily studies and everything. So, um, like I say, though, um, definitely want to um, 
give you options so that way you don't feel like oh you know i have to come to the studio you don't you don't necessarily have to but like i said we're still open but you know just let me know if you need more information on this and i'll make another video like this like i said i set up i i've spent this weekend making a uh making a set here in the warehouse. You know, most of, some of you have seen the warehouse. I, I spent my weekend doing this. Uh, I have all the video gear to do it. I have all the production gear, I have the lightings, I have the cameras, I have everything to do it. So uh, it's more work on my end, but I think in this, in this situation right now that I'm willing to put in the work because uh, it's just where we're at right now as a society, uh, I need, think I need to do my part and not just back down and like just close the studio or whatnot. No, I don't think that's 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 not a, that's not an option for me. You know, um, you all know how I feel about my lessons and uh, and then what I do for, for especially with the recitals. Oh, and, and, and so I'm gonna touch on that real quick for the recitals. There's probably I, I, that I don't, I don't think I can help that. Like in a way, I, I think for the recitals right now we're probably gonna have to put that on hold till we figure out this a little bit more. We want to make because, like I said, because like because of the recitals, there are groups of people. So I, I for right now, we'll, we will postpone those, and then we will make them up later though too. Because I love recitals. You know how how that is. We got all the family together, all the kids and everything, and we go up there and we have a good time, and it's a great experience for everybody. So um, so that saddens me a little bit, but you know, this that that's a little out of my hands because the last recital we had had probably like 80 people. And right now, everybody's saying that you know groups of fifty is not uh, I, ideal, and I don't want I, I, I don't want that to be um, the decision that I I make where we do recitals and if somebody something happens to somebody, I don't want that I really don't want that on my conscience. So I want I, for right now we will uh, postpone those. Okay, but anyways, uh, definitely give me some feedback. I, I I want feedback really I do you know on this whole situation uh, questions. The more questions, the better because then I can develop things for the learnings, uh, for, for musical learning in, um, on my end. And I could start, I could start, I could start get to getting to work really, because it's, like I said, it's going to be more work for me to, um, to do this. But like I said, it, this is where we're at and I'm just going to, this is, I'm, I, I feel I have to do it. So, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, please give me, give me, uh, give me a, uh, a text or a phone call if you want, you know, and we can uh, figure things out, but yeah. Okay, uh, everybody stay safe out there, and I hope to hear from all of you soon. Thank you.